Hello YouTubers, it's Magic the Gathering UK here again. And today we're going to crack open, or start cracking open, another booster box of Kaladesh. I caved in and got another box. Um, I found it pretty cheap, so I thought I'd pick it up and see what we can get. Now the interesting thing about this box is, um, as you should probably know, most of the European boxes, like my previous one, uh, are actually made in Belgium. Um, so yeah, but this one is made in the USA, so I've actually got an American box somehow. I don't know how I've managed to do that. Uh, I don't know if it's something to do with Kaladesh and they're printing them both in Belgium and USA to supply the uh, European market. Because normally it's only the Belgian ones that get get to the European market. So I don't know how this has ended up here, but that's what we've got. A couple of interesting things to know about that. Um, so far, all of the Belgian box I've seen, uh, none of them have had any of the energy tokens in. They missed them out of the original print run. So, but I have seen them appear in the American boxes. So we might actually get some of the energy tokens in here, which is quite interesting. Not something I've seen yet over here in Europe anyway. I don't know if that's just my, just sort of a anecdotal type thing, but as yet I've not seen any of the energy tokens in Belgian boxes, so it's possible we could get some of those in here. Um, I don't know if the different production affects the uh, print runs at all, so it might affect, you know, the box mapping, that kind of thing, which could be interesting. And also, a lot of the American cards I've seen have been, or, or definitely a higher percentage of the American boxes have um, misprints and miscuts and all that kind of stuff um, which you don't really get in the Belgian box that I've seen anyway or very low percentage of them whereas the USA ones are apparently having a rough time of it with the print quality so we'll have to see what we, what happens with that maybe we'll get some miscuts maybe we'll get some ink problems or something who knows could be interesting but more than likely it's just going to be a standard box with nothing interesting at all in it um, yeah and obviously everything else stays the same masterpiece um, what's the word? Masterpiece rarity, I suppose. That all the ratios stay the same, so the chance of getting a masterpiece of the same as in here is in the Belgian box. Um, but hopefully we get a bit lucky with it. Hopefully, um, hopefully we get a foil Padim, but you never know. The search for the foil Padim, our friend forever. All right, so without further ado, then let's start cracking this box open. Dun, 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 dun. Here come the scissors! Here they are. Now I apologise for any glare or anything like that you might get during this video. It is very dark here in the UK now. Clocks did go back as well. So, if you're wondering what time it is, it's probably about 4 o'clock in the evening here. Maybe half 4, something like that, and it's already basically pitch black, so... Well, it's not pitch black. Don't exaggerate. Well, it's basically pitch black. It's... I can quite clearly see everything out the window. It's getting there. <laughs> and it's only 4 o'clock, half 4 or whatever. Something like that. So, yeah, it gets dark here, and... So, me making videos in daylight is probably going to be pretty rare for the rest of the winter. I can't open this box. So, yeah, you might have to... We might have to figure out a new way of filming during this period. Here we go. We're in. Let's see if this American box can give us some better luck. As I say, I don't know how this ended up here. As I say, I don't know if they're supplying American and European boxes around Europe at the moment. I should, I mean Belgian boxes. But normally you can't get American boxes here, so I'm very interested to see how that's happened. But anyway, Packs and everything will be identical. It's just that they printed in America. He's not um, pushed out. There we go. Boom. Um, if this was Shadows Over Innistrad or uh, the other one, Eldritch Moon, then there would be something slightly interesting about them. Would be the position of the flip cards, the double face cards, are actually in a different spot in the American boxes of Shadows Over Innistrad and and Eldritch Moon, but of course none of those are in Kaladesh, so it doesn't really matter for this set. But another interesting thing about the print runs for Belgium and American boxes. But anyway, here we go then. Let's see, we're going to try and do our best to reduce glare as much as possible, but it may or may not be possible. So again, I apologise. Yeah, an American box, let's see if it works out better for us. 
Are these packs legit as well? I hope so. Hopefully. I don't know how, if there's any fake Kaladesh running around, but... Oh. We're in. I don't see why they wouldn't be legit. They look perfectly, perfectly fine. Checking what it says in the packet. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right, let's go. Select for inspection. Hi, Jack. Cards seem pretty normal. Ninth Bridge Patrol. Ooh. Ether Theorist. Mind Rot. I'm not really noticing any difference between the card quality of the American and Belgium. Thriving Rhino. Subtle Strike. Kajura Seed Sculptor. A Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot. Salivating Gremlins. Engineered Might is the first uncommon. We have a Minister of Inquiries. And an Armour Craft Judge is the final uncommon. And the rare is blue, is it Padim? It is Padim. Oh, <laughs> damn it. It trolled me. It happened before, didn't it? I always said it was Padim as well. But it was again a paradoxical outcome, not Padim. An interesting card. Not sure I'm a fan of it, but... A swamp and a servo. There we go. It's an interesting swamp card as well. Sort of an underground-like sewer system or something. And a servo. I like that servo token. There we go. Not a great start. But there's not a lot good in this set, really. <clears throat> Prices are sort of all over the place These still. These ones open differently, for sure. The packs open differently, do they? Yep, they keep just ripping open. Yeah. They feel a lot more brittle. A lot more brittle on the packaging. Aether Theorist. There may be some differences between the card stock as well, but I don't know that. Reckless Fireweaver. Inspired Charge. Night Market Lookout. Mm. Commencement of festivities. Someone next door just rolled down the stairs. Yep. Yeah. Impeccable timing. Fireforge's puzzle knot. Not seen any miscuts yet. Which is good. Fireforge's puzzle knot. Curio vendor. Things to look out for apparently when um with the Kaladesh Europe uh, American ones is sometimes the corners aren't cut properly, so they have square corners. And sometimes uh, the bottom is cut off so the top is like you get the bottom of a card at the top <laughs> um, so yeah, we might see some of that but who knows it is still very rare to get that happen though Oval Chase Daredevil is the first uncommon we have a Voltaic Brawler I love that card and a Visionary Augmenter so of course in the in the uncommons we are looking for ether hubs naturally they smell funny they do Plasticky. they do smell much different actually yeah but they smell very plasticky hmm much stronger smell. Visionary Augmenter is the last uncommon. And the rare. It's white. It's a Toolcraft Exemplar. That's not too bad. It's about two or three dollars at the moment. So, not too shabby. Oh, and a foil. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Should I am. And foil Iron Lee Steed. I think I already have that in foil, so that's kind of annoying. Rave. That does look pretty sweet in foil, though. Yeah, we know these are legit because... It feels different to me, I swear to God. These are definitely legit as well because people haven't really got fake foiling down down yet properly, so... There we go. We've got a foil Iron League Steed, not the best foil. Especially as I already have one, which is kind of annoying. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, these do tear like super easily, don't they? American production isn't as good, push them up. Or well, maybe it's better that way so you can get into the packs easier. Depends on your preference, I suppose. Spontaneous Artist. <coughs> Excuse me. Built to last. Select for inspection. Hi, Jack. Hi. 
High Spire Artisan, Night Market Lookout, Pima Outrider, Nanam Cobra, Windrake, Ooh, a Harness Lightning, I love that card as well, great card, first uncommon. We have a Fabrication Module, and a Gear Shift Ace, so no Aoife Hub. I swear that card hasn't been printed. And the rare, it's an artifact, unsurprisingly. There's about a bazillion artifacts in the set. Oh, it's an M. <laughs> Metal Multiform Wonder, that's what that is. Not a very good card. I quite like this card, but uh, probably a bit too costly. Not sure. It's got some quite interesting abilities, but not constructed playable, it seems. But I like it. Oh, oh and a foil! Multiform oh. Wonder. So we've got two, that's our foil rare of the box, which is terrible. So that's disappointing. Oh man, that's rough. But then again, most of the rares in this set are terrible, so. It's like a rainbow. It looks really cool. It's not one I have, fortunately, but. It's not a very good one, sadly. That's kind of unfortunate. Our foil rares are multi form wonder. And a thought down of planes. Alright, so not so good so far. We've already got a foil rare, which is disappointing. So basically the only thing we're looking for now is mythics and inventions, which are probably never going to happen. And also a couple of decent rares, like Smuggler's Copter, and I'm not sure what else, to be honest. There's a few good ones in here. Inspired Charge. Don't think we're gonna get a lucky box though. E for trade wins. Terror of the Fairgrounds. Thriving Ibex. Appetite for the unnatural. Night Market Lookout. Getting a lot of them. Wild Wanderer. Futu uh, Fortuitous Find. We have a Salivating Gremlins. Sky Skiff. The first vehicle of the box. Shrewd Negotiation is the first uncommon. Underhanded Designs is the second. And Armorcraft Judge. So no Ether Hub. That card definitely doesn't exist. We have a gold. This could be... Um, what's it called? Denpala? Something like that? Nope. It's not a good one. It's Campbell. Console of Allocation. He is poop. And no foil this time. Ireland and a servo. Alrighty. Let's wrap up this first part then. Not looking good so far. We got a Campbell Console of Allocation. We got a Multiform Wonder Foil Rare. That is our foil rare of the box. And it's awful, unfortunately. Sad times. Multiform Wonder non foil. We have an Iron League Steed foil. Again, not a very good foil to get. And a Toolcraft Exemplar. That's a pretty decent rare, though. We'll have a couple of bucks. And a Paradoxical Outcome. This sees a lot of play in the Ether Flux Reservoir deck. So there we go. That wraps up the first part of this American. Magic the Going Calidress Booster Box. Whoa. So far not seeing much different. Apart from the smell might be a bit different. Which is a bit odd. But there we are. And the packs seem to rip really easily. But other than that, we're still just as unlucky. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this first part. We'll come back soon for part number two. Well, hopefully we'll get a masterpiece. Bye-bye! Oh, Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below.